That's good. So that looks pretty sweet so far. Literally sweet. Um, that looks good. I want to go ahead and do a couple of effects here. We'll uh, go to the uh, the world tab and turn that back the the color back on up. Now I want to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, scene tab stuff here. So I want to turn ambient occlusion on. So we have a little bit of that in there, which looks better. I want to turn bloom on as well, and we'll go ahead and, and downsize, I'll open that up, and we'll turn the radius down, we'll turn the knee down, and we'll turn the threshold up a little bit, just so we have a little bit of that that bloom on there, which looks nice. I will turn uh, subsurface, do I want to do some subsurface scattering? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll do it, and we'll see how I like it. We'll turn subsurface scattering on, and then on our ice cream material, we will turn up a little bit of subsurface right there, and then we'll change the colors so that it's nice and pink in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the first subsurf radius is three point two, and then it's point two, then one, then point one. All right, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. All right, that's cool. So if we switch that on and off, yeah, much better. Definitely more soft. Love it. So we'll turn screen space reflections on as well. It has a little bit of uh, nice uh, highlights in there, which looks pretty good. If I turn on uh, separate albedo, it's probably not going to do too much for this specific render. Um, so I'll I'll leave it on just because it's a nice thing to have, but we don't necessarily need it for this render. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit volumetric on. So now I can go ahead and uh, split our window into two by dragging this off to the right-hand side, changing this from the uh, object editor to the shader editor here. Um, and then we'll just uh, go ahead and open this up a little bit. Hit shift A, search, mix, shader. We'll grab that, hit, hit enter, and put it right there. Shift A, and we'll, we'll type in volume and grab volume absorption and scatter. So we'll grab both of those. Um, scatter as well all right so now we have these hit b to box select over both of them hit g to move them up there we'll just plug both of those into the mix shader right there and then we'll plug this shader the mix shader into the volume of the material output and now uh ooh, we've done this wrong he <laughs> he i was i was ahead of myself all right so we will go ahead and delete that we need to actually go to the object to the world tab here not the object tab that's my mistake all right we'll hit use nodes on there and we'll do that again so now we're in the world tab here instead of object uh, we'll do the same thing. Shift A, mix, um, and then volume, absorption, and volume, scatter. Oop, no. And then volume, scatter. Right there. Plug both those in, like I said, and then we'll plug the mix shader into the volume. All right, so that's what we need. That's what we wanted instead of uh, <laughs> what I did before. So that looks good. So now with our volume absorption, we can change the color around here. We can change it to like a nice, like a nice purpley pink thing right it's difficult to see right now that's because we need to turn some of these settings down and up here if we turn the density down you'll be able to see things a little bit better if we turn this guy up and down you can see it gets a little more foggy a little less foggy that's a little too much pink purple so we'll go ahead and blast that down a little bit what I want to do is oop, if we move our camera over a little bit looks good we can turn the density up and down of this bad boy too something like that maybe we'll, oop, we'll grab this color and put it in volume scatter as well We'll just shift it around a little bit, maybe a little less, a little more. Um, and maybe I want to go, maybe I want to go like this over here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe a little less like that. Maybe perhaps. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a density is like point. Point six, maybe? Yeah, I like that. All right, and then for film, we can go ahead. Oh, no, sorry, not film. Color management. We can change the gamma and the uh, the exposure here to darken things and lighten things up and stuff. Um, but we can just go to a different preset as well. So film looks really filmatic. Ooh, look at that up there. That looks so cool. Uh, film looks really filmatic. Um, we were default on uh, on film there. We can change the contrast, the contrast too. Very low contrast, a very high contrast. That looks pretty good for, yeah, and we'll turn the exposure up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Looks good, looks good, looks good. And then I want to go ahead and change the background color here to a color. Maybe we'll do a nice purplish pink, maybe a yellow, blue, no, no blue. Hmm. maybe we'll do blue-like pink yeah never mind we'll just do pink <laughs> um pink purple and we'll turn the strength up so it's not as dark over there that looks good i like it uh maybe something like that yeah sweet with our camera i'll go ahead and i'll turn viewport display 
uh, alpha all the way up. So we can't see any of that weird stuff going on there. Um, so that looks pretty good. Do I want to... Yeah, I, I like that better. That looks much better, much better, much better. So the density, we'll turn that up a little bit. I want a little bit of that fade in there, but I don't want it to be too washed out. Yeah, I like that. Looks good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay. So these settings are really what's going to help us out here. Uh, because without that, it looks like, uh, like that, which just doesn't look as, it just doesn't look as great, you know. So uh, that looks much, much, much better. I like that a lot better. Looks cool. Looks cool. If we go ahead and give this a preview, do I want some depth of field? I don't know. Let's let's try. It. We'll turn depth of field on right there with our camera selected. We'll turn overlays back on. I think that's the last thing I'm going to do. We'll turn limits on and we'll turn. Ooh, not not the size. Not the size. We will go to uh, where is that? At? Depth of field here. Focus distance. We'll kind of place it right there on the edge of the ice cream and then we'll turn the f stop like pretty much all the way down. Give it a little look-see. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Uh, maybe 0.2? Maybe 0.2, turn overlays off. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, sure. Eh, do I like... I don't know. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, but for a different reason, though. Hmm, I don't know. We can do either one. We can do either one. Uh, I don't have to decide. All right, really quickly, guys, I wanted to show you this is an alternate ice cream I did off camera uh, before that I just that I made before this one I just showed you guys. Pretty much what I just did for this one is I just used cubes and then just put uh, some subsurf. Actually, I, I beveled these. I didn't use subsurf. So I just hit I just beveled them. So let me add a cube real quick. Shift A, add in a cube, turn overlays back on. Um, and I just grabbed this guy, uh, went into edit mode by hitting tab. And then hit Control B to bevel them. Scroll my mouse wheel up a couple of times, and then I just use them like that. Of course, I turn smooth shading on here, so object shade smooth, and then I just hit Shift D, duplicated, and then just rotated them. You know, scale them down. That's what I did for this one, and I do like this this one better. So uh, this one looks much better in my opinion. So uh, you can use the meatballs or you can use these. It's the same thing, um, but I do have I have a plane in the background for this one too. If it gets really green when you go out there, um, but yeah. So that's what that's what this one looks like. It looks much cooler. In my opinion, I like this one a lot better. So the only difference is the is the meatballs, the metaballs. Um, so that's it. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys both versions. All right, now for a back, back, back to the ending of the video. Okay, bye. I don't know. What do you guys think? Depth of field or no depth of field? I'm not sure. Depth of field is kind of cool, but I like the crispness of this. So I'll leave it. But that's uh, that's our cool stylistic ice cream cone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye bye.